Okay, this is Sandy Monroe's biography from Monroe and Associates website. I'm going to go over this real quickly and give you an idea of why Sandy Monroe is so important and such a, a superstar in manufacturing. Uh, design, profit, and CEO. You see where uh, Elon Musk gets his naming conventions, Monroe Associates. And there he is in the uh, dark hair. Uh, frequent speaker and advisor, some of the world's top executives on implementing change in innov innovative uh, development strategies. Um, one of the pioneers of design for assembly. Okay, now they've uh, design uh, developed enhanced process calling design for manufacturability. This is a whole new paradigm in manufacturing. So Sandy started began his career as a toolmaker in Windsor, became engineering manager. In 78 he joined Ford as a manufacturing engineer, promoted to senior uh, automation specialist. Uh, in 1982 he met Dr. E. Deming, who is uh, the demigod or God, if you will, of uh, quality in not only U.S. manufacturing, but internationally changed the way things are manufactured. And I'm going to go over his background in a minute. Uh, as variation is reduced, quality will increase. This was Deming's mantra. He used X bar R bar charts to simplify his method. He took samples of, of parameters while the product was being manufactured compared these on X bar and R bar statistical charts which had which had uh, variance tolerances and this allowed the manufacturer to correct the problem while it was being manufactured uh, rather than the previous method was run a batch of them if it was no good we pull them off to the side at the end and, and fix everything later so this is statistical uh, quality control uh, and Variation, this is panel body gaps, these types of measurements that people are looking at now. This is the stuff Deming was measuring back in the day. I'm going to go over Deming in a minute. Now, Sandy has moved on from this and says all variation stems from design. So this is like a PhD th thesis. It's like he studied other Deming. This is his PhD. He's developed this whole mantra of uh designing for manufacturability which is as big as Deming's was and it actually builds on Deming. Uh, Deming spirit and philosophy is evident in all the Monroe products and services so uh, we're going to go over Deming in a minute but but this is such a big deal um, and we take this for granted or we may take this for granted now it is not something to take for granted. Um, after successfully implementing design for assembly principles at Ford Okay, this is his thesis. This is his PhD. He's in acting. Sandy was named corporate director, design for assembly for the automaker. What a big deal to go from a toolmaker to this. Uh, Ford utilized the design for assembly to save billions of dollars, improve quality, and reduce development cycles early in the 1980s. So, uh, what can you say? Toolmaker to a uh, a major role at Ford Motor Company, fantastic, like a V2 rocket, you know, Saturn rocket, what a career. In 1988, Sandy was convinced by Dr. Deming personally, and, and, and I'm going to go over Deming in a minute, This for him to even know Deming, and for Deming to be interested to tell him uh, this is so uh, mind-blowing. Dr. Deming to leave Ford and start his own company, which became Monroe & Associates. Uh, since that time, Monroe has uh, helped manufacture of all type products, 30 years of experiencing designing and processing components. Now, I just want to say this about Monroe. You know, he comes off as a bit of a, uh, he's self-effacing humor, he's kind of a shit kicker, he's kind of a guy's guy, he doesn't show off, he's always knocking his MBAs you might see him, you might think he's some grease monkey that stumbled into all this. Not at all. This is, um, I mean, 
to be he's on the same level as Demi. And this is a big deal. All right, I'm going to move on to the next section here. Okay, this is the Deming Institute. Dr. Uh, Deming has a whole management school uh, thought. I mean, this is one of the biggest minds in business and manufacturing of our of this century um i cannot say how important deming is was and still is to all the manufacturing and i can tell you that i am absolutely certain that elon musk has read his books his 14 points because he is elon musk is the epitome of implementing Deming's uh, rules. Uh, that is my personal opinion, but I, I don't think anyone's asked uh, Elon Musk this, but I believe that he has studied Deming. Now, uh, Deming the man. Now, Deming is a PhD. That's the doctor. Born in 1900. Eminent scholar and teacher in academia for more than half a century. Hundreds of papers, articles, uh Again, statistical variance. He's also worked in the uh, management impl uh, implications and management uh, theories of how to run a company and how management has to buy into the process. His 14 points are fascinating. Uh, I mean, uh, you could spend, uh, you know, a year studying Deming. I mean, uh, uh, what he's done and uh, what he's developed uh it's uh unbelievable anyway uh he was a consultant of business leaders major corporations and governments uh his efforts led to the transportation of management uh that has uh, profoundly impacted manufacturing and service uh, organizations around the world fascinating i mean his principles can not only be applied to uh manufacturing they can be applied to nursing, uh, you name it, whatever the business. He has set up a framework um, and a way of doing business. Ugh, I mean, he's transformed the world in this century. Considered to be the master of continual improvement of quality as, uh, as well as overall operation, it says here. Best known for his pioneering work in Japan. Now, after World War II, Japan was decimated. Deming went in, and he basically, you look at Toyota, you look at these companies that are doing this fantastic work in ICE. Of course, they have made big moves into BEVs yet, but all of that was Deming, okay? Deming took them from manufacturing cheap tin toys to being the number one automobile manufacturer in the world, Toyota, and that is Deming, okay? That's how important Deming is. Dr. Deming's role as the architect of Japan's World War II industrial transformation is regarded by many Western business schools and ec economists as one of the most significant achievements of the 20th century, okay? Father of the third wave of the Industrial Revolution. Um, you have to you have to look into Deming on your own. I have I have studied Deming a bit, and I've been exposed to a lot of his theories. And there's so much to learn there. This is uh, profound. His role in um, business. Uh, business schools i mean he dominates uh playing a role in the resurgence of american automobile industry in the late 1980s uh he consulted with Ford, toyota blah 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 uh visionary whose belief in continual improvement uh which is something that monroe has built upon and now has created design for manufacturability we think about quality manager. Uh, uh, he changed the way we think about quality management and leadership. Um, 
Where there's joy in learning, there's joy in work, everyone will win. Throughout his career, he remained devoted to family support of colleague friends and a true belief in a better world. So, this is Monroe's mentor. He's got an institute named after him. People still study him. His 14 points. I mean, uh, this guy was super important, and now Monroe has taken up... Uh, his banner and march forward with it. This is why um, Monroe is so important. He is uh, a thinker. He, as I said, he's self-effacing, aw shucks, shit kicker, going to hunt deer, don't let it fool you. Uh, he's a big deal. Deming's a big deal. What uh, Monroe's what Deming said mattered. The whole world listened to him, and what Monroe says also matters. And the people that really are in the know know this, and that's why Monroe is important. And you got to listen to what he has to say. General Motors will be the first major automaker in modern times to market specifically designed electric vehicles to the public. Hi, this is uh, MXUX. Yeah, this is the EV1. The uh, whole design of this thing was done by Monroe. Basically, it's the father of all EVs. The only thing they didn't have was lithium-ion batteries. All of these were crushed by GM at the end of their leases. I think one exists at Ohio State University, but Monroe invented the battery electric vehicle. That's all there is to it. This is global. Cars okay, this is uh, Monroe's uh, prediction for sales. They got uh, Monroe has down here seventy percent of uh, production will be BEVs as far as uh, uh, the vehicles go in twenty twenty eight, and the adoption is going to be about fifty percent in the U S. and seventy percent everywhere else. Uh, Lafia also makes one. I like that one too. It has a that uh, that uh, that has a a, a uh, an inverter box that's elsewhere. Um, currently, they have one inverter for each one of their motors, um, uh, but they're talking about maybe putting a combined inverter, which would would maybe do the whole front end of the car or the whole rear end of the car. But I like these. Um, I think that uh, I think that um, this is a good idea. Anyone who's ever done any investigation can go and have a look at uh, the um, the um, uh, old GM plant that I'm fading on. North, yeah, Lordstown. Lordstown. The uh, the Lordstown plant or the Lordstown company, I should say. Go and have a look at that, and you can see some amazing things that you can do with uh, a wheel motor. Is there any more you can say about Aptera or Archimoto? Um, I'm um, kind of like invested in both. I, um, I probably will buy an Aptera or an Archimoto, depending on where I live, because um, I'm going to buy a new house uh, or a different house. I'm tired of living in a condo. So um, uh, the Aptera is great. If I was living like below the Mason-Dixon line, Either one of those things would be great, but the Aptera would give me like a thousand, uh, thousand miles between charges. I like that. The Aptera has got some nice features. It looks snappy and whatnot. The Archimoto uh, was aptly named as a fun utility vehicle, so I think that, um, I think that uh, um, both of those vehicles um, are going to, are right under our design hand right now, but, uh, but if, um, but if, um, um, uh, if possible, um, I would like to have one or maybe even both, depending on how much money I make <laughs> one of these days.